Hoyt. Approaches the halfway line and then hits a long ball forward towards the lone striker, Morrison. Angela, though, strong in the challenge and wins the header. Thorne and Murray find Ekstrand. Now a catchy annual on this left-hand touchline. Well, Mill were working very hard since they went down to 10 minutes. The question is, though, can they keep that work rate up? I think if Watford keep playing the way they're playing, passing the ball very well, second half should, should get some good opportunities to increase the scoreline. Doyley finds Cassetti on the halfway line. Back to Lloyd Doyley once more. Watford have nearly got 12 on the pitch because Beppe Sanino is... <laughs> He's a, still, he's working very hard. We saw, saw this at Ipswich on Saturday. It's great to see. He's, he's demanding more from his players. He yeah. knows this is a chance. Millwall down to 10 men. If they can get that second goal, you, you would think that's the game finished with as long as no one does something silly. Cassetti on the right-hand side. Infield to Sean Murray midway inside the Millwall half. Looks to clip it out to this left-hand side. And Anya is inside the box. Follows it straight across goal. It's Forestieri who does make it two. Great move from the Hornets. Murray pinged it out to Anya, who took a touch and then volleyed it across goal. And Fernando Forestieri, well, it sort of came to him rather quickly and he managed to cushion it off his midriff and then poke it beyond four from close range and doubles Watford's lead on 26 minutes. They have got that all-important second goal now. It's Fernando Forestieri's fifth of the season. It's Watford 2, Millwall 0. 